If you know somebody who could use some help marketing their business, if you would take the couple seconds to share this podcast with them, I would greatly appreciate it. Word of mouth is by far one of the best ways to organically market. So that would be greatly appreciated. Thanks. What's up and welcome back to the Matt Pete Marketing Podcast. Now, I'm willing to bet that you know a thing or two about a thing or two just because you're listening to this podcast for the simple reason because you have a business that you're trying to grow and you want to be able to create more growth. You want to make more money. I can get behind that. I agree with that. And this is why I think you should have an online course. So I was recently in Nashville, Tennessee, shooting video for a course. I They hired me to come up there and just basically shoot B-roll for two and a half days um, it's for a cleaning company. So I we literally got an Airbnb and we stayed in the Airbnb for two and a half days cleaning the Airbnb and shooting video of it. It was, it was kind of meta, but I loved it. I had a great time and I came back and I was talking to my mastermind about it. And they're like, well, how did you enjoy being in Nashville and shooting this video? I was like, honestly, I loved it. I was like, we had a great time hanging out. I love online course creation, that whole side of things, you know, being able to put your content out to the world. They're like, really? I was like, yeah, I love content creation. And like, you know, courses in general and having that online uh, income. And they're like, well, do you know how to do that? I was like, yeah, I've done it a few times. You know, I built a course earlier this year for a guy who at launch made $12,000 and everything else after that's just in perpetuity. So it has been great. I've loved doing it. I've created courses on my own website. I've created them on Thinkific. I've created them on ClickFunnels. I'm wearing their shirt right now while I record this. Um, and they're actually putting out ClickFunnels 2.0 next year, which I'm in the beta for as they start releasing content. It's actually going to be super dope, especially for course creators. So I'm sure I'll be talking about that more in the future. It's really cool. Anyways, um, course creation. I think you should have a course because you know something about something. Like my brother, he is getting into wedding videography. He's been helping me shoot weddings. I just shot my last one a few weeks ago, so I'm getting out of it. But he's getting into it. And he actually already knows a lot about it because he's been shooting weddings with me for years. He shot so many weddings with me. Appreciate you, Dell. But he knows a lot about weddings. And if he were to ask me if he should create a course, I would say yes, but I might not would go the direction that most course creators go with that. So for him, you know, a lot of people in the photography space, in the wedding video space, they'll create a course on how to be a wedding videographer, how to be a wedding photographer. Maybe take it a different angle. Maybe a course for brides, how to find your perfect videographer. You could even think about giving away for free because then you're just helping brides. You're helping your client and they're going to see you as the professional when it comes to that. They're going to be like, well, this guy must know exactly what we need because he's literally written the course on it and he's giving it away for free on how to choose the perfect videographer. So there's so many ways that you in your business can create a course and don't don't think you have to create a course teaching other people how to do what you do. Maybe your course is for your end client. So like I'm in a marketing space now. I'm in the business space. So I want to create courses to help you guys, to help everybody listening be able to put out better content and be found more. So that's why I'm creating a course for podcasters. That's why I have a course on video editing. I had so many people, so many entrepreneurs come to me say, I want to put out content and I need to learn how to video edit because I can't afford to pay somebody. Actually, at Funnel Hacking Live, I was shooting for John Lee Dumas. I was sitting in one of the chairs near the back of the room, editing his footage while the conference is going on. The person finished up and everybody's getting up leaving. I'm still sitting there editing. And somebody in the audience came over to me and was briefly talking to me about video editing, asking what I use and everything. He's like, do you think that video editing is a useful skill that I should learn? And I told them, you know, it's the first time I'd really been asked that question in that way. I said, if you don't have the money to pay an editor to edit video for you, then it can be one of the most powerful skills you can learn. Because if you have the money to pay somebody, sure, outsource that content creation because it can take a while, especially when you're just getting started. But if you're bootstrapping, you're just getting started and you don't have somebody to the money to pay somebody to say, edit your course for you, then you can save thousands of dollars by getting in Premiere Pro and learning how to do it for free. And go figure, I have a course that teaches you how to edit video for free. Because I've played around with so many, like I mentioned, so many different course creation tools to get courses to people. And right now, the one I'm kind of leaning into is Thinkific. 
like I said, I've built one on my own website. Dealing with membership stuff on there is not fun. All of your, it's, it's kind of the same reason people ask if you get into podcasting, we talked about that on a few episodes now. To get into that, people will ask, should I host the podcast on my own website? No, you shouldn't. You should host it on a site like Libsyn or Anchor or Blueberry, so a podcast hosting site. Should you host your course on your own website? I'm going to advise against it because one, a lot of technical issues if you get attacked by malware, which has happened to me three times this year on my website. I've been hacked three times. Now, the third one was because the malware scan didn't get everything, so it reinfected my site and got taken back down. But I've lost full websites this year to being hacked. If you have your course on that and there's that much downtime, I was down for two weeks in July, August, because my site got hacked and Bluehost is like, well, you have malware, so we're shutting your entire account down. So I was down two weeks. So if you have people trying to access their course and they can't because Bluehost is dragging their feet and they refuse to help you get your site back up, then that's not good. You want to be able to provide the content that the people paid for. You're going to end up rebuilding because it's faster for you to rebuild your course on a new site than it is for you to get your own website back up. If you use a course, a site like Thinkific or ClickFunnels, Kajabi, anything like that, they have their own built-in customer support. If they go down, they have teams of people working to make sure that gets back up as quickly as possible because they know their revenue is tied to your website being up. So I'm really leaning into Thinkific right now until ClickFunnels 2.0 comes out. Check that out. I looked into Teachable. The reason I chose Thinkific over Teachable, I'll go ahead and throw this out there in case you're biting at the teeth to start your course today. Teachable charges a percentage of every transaction. You sell a course for $100 and they take, it's, it's a tiered system. So the higher tier you are, the less money they take out of it. But I think the lowest one I saw was like 5%. If you have a $100 course, they take $5 out of every course you sell. Thinkific doesn't do that. So you pay more for Thinkific for their versions, but it's like $10 more for the pro version or whatever it's called. It's like $29 on Teachable, $39 on Thinkific. Go with Thinkific. Um, that's the main reason I saw right there because you pay them, they host your course, and you don't have to worry about paying them anymore. You can worry about doing other things with your money because it's your money and you can market that course a little bit more. But definitely you should have a course because you have something to teach. It's going to make you more of an authority. So if you listen to the episode last week, we talked about podcasting, that's going to make you an authority. Now you're creating courses on that topic. That's going to make you an authority. So for me, I have the video editing course. I'm going to have a podcasting course. I'm going to have a course on creating courses because like I said, when I was in Nashville shooting that course with that company, it was awesome. I had a blast. And my mastermind pointed out, it's like, I think you need to be recording courses with people because that seems to really get you lit up and on fire. And I was like, you're absolutely right. So that's why I wanted to put out this episode. And I want you to hold me accountable because I plan on creating these courses. Like I said, the video editing was already there. The podcasting one will be next because I've had so many conversations. But are you interested on a course about creating courses? And we can tie all this together with you know, how to shoot the video, how to take photos for things, how to layer it out. We can do the whole kit and caboodle, the whole shebang on creating courses if you want. So let me know. Send me an email at themattpete at gmail.com. Follow me on social media at themattpete. Anywhere, let me know. Is that something you're interested in? Do you want to know more about creating courses? I think you should. I think you should have one, even if the only reason is to be an authority figure. Say, hey, he's got, he, he literally has a course on X, on, on whatever you want to be an expert in. Like for my brother, he could have a course for brides to choose the perfect videographer. Now, obviously he's biased because he has what he offers. So he knows what they need because he has a reason for offering it. So yeah, it makes you an authority figure in that space. It helps you help people, which I find that there's a saying, um, helping other people achieve. If you help other people achieve what they want, then you'll achieve everything you could want. Um, so having courses allows you to do that. It allows you to help your target audience. It allows you to help your people achieve a goal. And by doing that selflessly, spending your time, your money investing in the, por- the platforms and everything, you're getting it all up and everything, time is money. By spending your effort into getting that up, I believe that it will repay you. I believe that you're going to help the right people and that in turn will help you in the long run. 
So go ahead, get out there, create your course. This is your permission slip to put out content, to create that course that I know this entire time you've been listening to this episode, you've been thinking about the course you want to create. This is the permission to go ahead, get out there and create that course. I'll see you next time on the Matt Pete Marketing Podcast. I hope this episode inspired you to take action and remember that marketing really matters. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of the Matt Pete Marketing Podcast. If you know somebody who has a business and they could use some help marketing and growing their business, if you would just take a couple seconds to share this podcast with them, I would be grateful and I know they would be as well. Thanks.